Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. So um, Bernier uh, was arrested. He was just arrested. Do we have the video of him being put in a car? Let's take a look. Oh. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, yes. yes. Park with the RCMP. Yeah. I can get you step out of the vehicle. I'm going to place you under arrest right now. Yeah. Right now, you're under arrest under the uh, provincial health orders. Okay, so if you could just put your hands behind your back, face towards the vehicle. Okay, put, give me one hand here. I'll get you to see the vehicle, okay? Thank yep. you. The other hand. Do you have any weapons or anything on you, sir? Weapon? No, no weapon. Only, anything on you only that's my hurt words. Me or anything. anything like that? Sorry? Anything on you that's going to hurt me or anything like that? No, no, anything will hurt you. Only my words. Only my philosophy. Only what I believe in. Okay. All right, come on over this way. Hey, that's cool. Arresting the, an opposition party leader, handcuffing him, putting him in a police car, taking him to jail. That's cool. That's really cool. Maxime Bernier had landed in... Manitoba as part of his anti-lockdown tour. Maxime Bernier, as you know, is the former cabinet minister under Stephen Harper, the former independent MP. He broke away from the party under Andrew Scheer. I always thought he should have just bit his tongue and stayed with Andrew Scheer, who was doomed to fail, and then Bernier would be the, the obvious successor, but he didn't. Anyways, he ran in the last election. Um, under his own banner, the People's Party, and unfortunately, in my view, he lost, he didn't win any seats and he lost his own seat. So now he is still the leader of the party, but alas, he has no seats in Parliament, which not only deprives him of a forum and some standing, it also deprives him of a budget uh, and media coverage. The rest of the media has basically decided that they're going to try and memory hole him and, and erase him and deplatform him, which is surely made easier by the fact that um, he's not in Parliament anymore. Um, anyway, so he was landing in Manitoba, and both the Premier and some local mayors said, you're not welcome here, which is their opinion, and they can say that. But um, we're Canadian citizens, and part of being a Canadian province is you're part of Canada, and so you are open to other citizens. If you uh, are looking for a legal authority for that, I direct you to, I think it's Section 6 of our... Um, constitution, which gives us mobility rights. So um, Bernier uh, was arrested. He was just arrested. Do we have the video of him being put in a car? Let's take a look. Oh. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, we'll yeah. Park with the RCMP. Yeah, I can get you step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna place you under arrest right now. Yeah. Right now, you're under arrest under the uh, provincial health orders. Okay, so if you could just put your hands behind your back, face towards the vehicle. Okay, put, give me one hand here. I'll get you to the vehicle, okay? Thank yep. you. The other hand. Do you have any weapons or anything on you, sir? Weapon? No, no weapon. Only, anything on you only that's my hurt words. Me or anything, anything like that? Sorry? Anything on you that's going to hurt me or anything like that? No, no, yeah. anything will hurt you. Only my words, only my philosophy, only what I believe in. Okay. All right, come on over this way. I'll explain a few things to you here right away. That's cool. Arresting the, an opposition party leader, handcuffing him, putting him in a police car, taking him to jail. That's cool. That's really cool. When Russia does that, it's international news. Amnesty International puts out a statement. When Venezuela does that, same thing. In Canada, so Brian Pallister, the premier, and some nobody mayor said, you're not welcome here. And then surprise, when he shows up, the police, and was it the police or was it a brand called Under Armour? Because I noticed that our CMP officer was wearing a sponsored ball cap. So was this an RCMP arrest or was it an Under Armour arrest? And um, are RCMP uniforms optional? 
maybe this was just some private errand he was running for the premier, so he didn't feel it would be appropriate. You put that back up to show people what I'm talking about. Um, just hold the frame at the cop's hat. Um, the RCMP regulations uh, describe what uniforms are permitted. Um, and yeah, just move a little forward till we see the hat. If you can just, uh, yeah, do you see that? Like that's, that's, an, that's, that's Under Armour, right? That's a brand. Um, so what I'm curious about is if this cop, yeah, so is this an arrest on behalf of the RCMP? Is this an arrest on behalf of the Premier? Is this an arrest on behalf of Under Armour? Who's actually doing this arrest and why? Who thinks it's appropriate to pull over a car and handcuff someone for, for no crime? Just, to, just so you're clear, Bernier was, has not been charged with any crime. You know what a crime is, right? If you uh, don't know what a crime is from the plain language of that word, you can look it up in a book called The Criminal Code where they list all the crimes. And... Um, Going to a gathering or giving a speech or whatever he was doing is not a crime. So we've arrested a political party leader, handcuffed him and jailed him. And was this front page news across the country? Did you see it anywhere? I, I'll be honest with you, I don't really pick up uh, traditional newspapers, so I don't know what's on the front page, but I don't think it was. Um, because it's fine by the media party. They don't like Maxime Bernier either. Um, I wonder what it would be like if it was uh, Stephen Harper's RCMP that arrested and handcuffed, let's say, the Green Party leader. How would that go down? On Rumble, Nick Monk says, the Bernier arrest was widely covered by Canadian media, not imagine if it was Jagmeet Singh getting arrested, the wailing would be endless. Yeah, and with, with good reason, because we don't really arrest politicians in our country. That's more of a a Putin thing or a Nicholas Maduro thing. It's a disgrace. Uh, but Trudeau was miles away. He was partying. Um, here, here he is in uh, the UK. If you go to rebelnews.com, a pop-up says, help. You know, don't get censored. Give us your email or your mobile number. It takes one second to put it in. And in our six years, we have never sold or given away our viewers' info. This is what you see. So if you go to the website, this pops up, don't get censored. I don't know if that's grammatical, but there it is. Big tech is coming. Big, big tech is censoring us. Sign up so we can always stay in touch. Email mobile phone. That takes two seconds to fill out. Because if they kill us on Tuesday, how are we going to tell you where we are? How are we going to tell you about where the videos are? 